Star 104.5, it's Craig and Mandy, 641, 16 and mostly sunny around the central coast today. It's a chilly 7 degrees at the moment. Yes, we know we're in winter now, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, Mandy, so excited about our next guest. It is absolutely huge getting rave reviews, some of the best fight scenes you'll ever see on the big screen. Mad Max Fury Road has just been taking the box office by storm and joining us to talk about the fight scenes, the fight scenes director, weapons specialist and an actor in the film, it's Greg Van Borsum. Hi and welcome. Welcome. How are you going? Nice to be here. Incredible work on that film. I mean, I've seen my fair share of action films, and I reckon that was probably the best action film I've ever seen in my life. Oh, thank you. How did you make it so raw? I mean, you've got someone like Tom Hardy, who people know as Bane, and then Charlize Theron, who we've seen the darker side in a movie like Monster that she was Oscar nominated for. Yes, that was some years ago now. In a lot of the fight scenes, they're very equal to each other. How do you work on something like that? Yeah, it was tough. I mean, for the mere fact of Charlize having one arm, mm. I mean, we had to balance out the fight scenes as best we could to make her that equal, and her ferocity had to come through. What I hate about a lot of action films is they have beat by beat action and you can see the fight scenes like they're a break from the story and they're also done sequentially. I wanted to hide the action beats inside the, the mayhem. And, and did you and did you pump Charlize up at all? Because, you know, I imagine going into those fights, very physical, very energetic, you need to be in a certain frame of mind. How did you kind of pump your actors up? Any top actor can, can get into a character properly. But we did a lot of physical work together between Charlie's Tom, myself. We really worked hard to bring them up to that level they yeah. needed to be at. Basically, for people who haven't seen it, the premise of the film it kind of revolves around this giant truck, which is known as the War Rig. How much of the actual action when cars are going past and motorbikes are flying in front of it, dropping explosives in and around the truck, how much of that is actually green screen and how much of it was shot <laughs> in real time? We brought in people from right across the planet to be yeah. good enough to do this. And all our stunt work is live. You know, there's only a couple of sequences where you'll see something fly to was camera where we had to do a digital transition. People would have seen this on the trailer too, but one of the big sequences in the film is where these motorcycles are riding through sand dunes up over the top of the war rig, or later on in the film where you've got the guys on the poles that are dropping onto it. Is that all happening at real time and like at, at real speed and stuff? Yeah, we, we nailed that That's thing. That's amazing. I, mean, I don't think George ever thought we could do it, but we did it. <laughs> you know, that is we incredible. We were very fortunate to have a stunt team that could do that, and, and we're prepared to do that. When you've got multiple vehicles traveling and yeah, guys yeah. having to jump off poles onto moving vehicles, yeah. there's detachment times and you've got to make sure they're on the money so no one does come off. Mate, so. I can't even eat a Big Mac and drive at the same time. I don't know how you guys did this. <laughs> I know. Now you just spoke about George, of course, George Miller who is the director of this incredible film. How long have you been working with him on this film from beginning to end? Uh, I think I was I think, 27 or 28 when I started. I'm now 44. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have done, well, we have done films in between. I did direct Happy Feet 1 and 2 with him. Yeah. But this film nearly didn't happen, didn't it? A lot of times it nearly didn't happen. Even when it happened, it nearly didn't happen. Can you tell us just quickly... <laughs> how it almost didn't happen. The dollar changed, the war happened, all that stuff came into play. Yeah. And so things had to stop because as soon as the dollar changed, your budget goes out the window. Other well, films started up and then we had to start again and then it fell over again. Then we did the stunt testing and it, then it fell over again. I'm proud of the work everyone did, mm. you know, but you never know how a film's going to go. We had multiple cameras running. There was 450 hours of footage. Oh, my 450 gosh. hours. For a two-hour film. For a two-hour film. Look, we need to take a break. Stick around. We heard that you trained Charlize Theron, the main actress, to fire a gun for the very first time, and we've got to hear about that next. It's Craig and Mandy, and we're with Greg Van Borsum, the fight scenes coordinator and one of the stars of Mad Max Fury Road, a weapons specialist and someone who has been on this very long journey of producing this film, which has taken something like 12 years mm. with George Miller, the director. I hope this isn't too difficult to talk about, but uh, I know that Charlize Theron had a personal tragedy with guns early in her life. How did you bring her up to speed in getting used to shooting a weapon and shooting it as proficiently as she does? When someone goes through a, a life-changing event with something, especially like a firearm, I yeah. mean... Once you feel a, a gun go off around you again, all that floods back. Yeah, 100%. And so that whole moment did flood back, that happened. So I spent time with Charlize, like literally days, with other people around us shooting live firearms, and with her and I just facing sideways, just doing draw dry fire work, not firing a gun. Okay. Just getting her into the process of hearing and feeling gunfire around her, ambient gunfire, so she could get used to that, because her breathing would... would <laughs> You know, yeah, so yeah well, it's traumatic. Yeah, and over time we got over that and I said, you tell me when you're ready to do the next step. And we'll, we moved through it like that. Charlize was good. She wanted to embody the character, so we really drilled it hard. And any time she came and said something incorrect or did something wrong, it was 20 push-ups. Okay, oh, yeah, cool. On the, average, on the average day, she had 250. Oh, <laughs> you're a hard and, man. Yeah. And she had to do those one arms too, I presume, because yeah. she's only got one arm in the Don't worry, she got strong enough to do it, but she got real proficient. And I heard that you and Tom Hardy actually had quite a, a great friendship. Do you, have you kept in touch with Tom? Yeah, we still do. Oh, he's a good man. We had a lot of fun. I mean, Tommy and I are very similar characters, which is kind of dangerous. Yeah, right. 
But all of us, we had a, a place we used to go and meet on weekends. It was called Oasis, and it was literally a, an Italian restaurant. You had to have a four-wheel drive yeah. to get there. It's 30 kilometers off the highway through the hardest sand to get through. You'd always get bogged. To get to this little Italian restaurant where this lady would let us shoot on her property, and we would spend the day there shooting all Where's kinds this? of Where's this? Which country? Back of Africa, Namibia. An wow. Italian restaurant in the middle yeah. of Namibia? This Italian lady would come out and <laughs> met someone in some overseas, and she'd come to Africa, and they'd broken up, and so just, she decided to stay and raise wow. a family. Wow. That's amazing. So That's it's incredible. An incredible piece of land. It looks like an oasis, and we would go there, and we'd have to shoot about thirty rounds in the air to scare the baboons away, and then they'd take off, and we'd start shooting. That's wow. amazing! <laughs> Look, so many fantastic stories. What a brilliant achievement! An incredible film. Um, half the population have already seen it; the other half want to see it. Mad Max Fury Road, about twelve years in the making, with George Miller and our guest Greg Van Borsum. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing all that insider gossip on the filming <laughs> no, of Mad Max. Pleasure.